Hello and welcome to another new construction home tour. Today we're going inside the Daniel by Richmond American in the Aurora Highlands community. If you're new to my channel, what is up? My name is Tori Drake. This is the home. It's very, very pretty. I'm about to go inside. My name is Tori Drake. I am a local real estate agent who does a ton of work in the new construction space, northeast, southwest of Denver, all those directions. So what that means for you is I would love for you to leverage the relationships I have built to get the best deal possible with new builds if that's what you're considering doing. I can't make any promises over YouTube, of course but because of the relationships I've built with these builders, I've been able to negotiate great deals and great incentives for my clients. I would love for you to take advantage of. My contact information is below. Uh, throughout the video, I'll be talking about this home and the Aurora Highlands community, so definitely uh, check that if you have the volume up for that. And guys, let's jump into the Daniel by Richmond American. Alrighty, here we are outside of the Daniel by Richmond American and Aurora Highlands. Turn do a quick turnaround so you can see the community. Although Richmond American is at the very front of it, so you don't really get to see a whole lot. If you're not familiar with this community, I've got a whole community tour of it that tells you everything they're building here, what their plans are. Uh, that's called the ultimate guide to Aurora Highlands. It's on my channel somewhere, you can check it out. Let's go ahead and dive in three car garage here. This is the view right as you come in. Got the main living area over here. We'll start off here. We got an office to our right. I'm always a big fan of the office being separated from the rest of the home. So if someone's working late or early, making noise, phone calls, whatever, they don't disturb the rest of the home. Although there are bedrooms down here. So <laughs> uh, hopefully I don't talk too loud on the phone like I do. Hi, that's me. These ceilings are ridiculously high. Laundry room right here. All right, two guest bedrooms at the end of the hall. By the way, guys, one of the best parts of my new build home videos uh, is that it doesn't matter when the video is posted today, five years ago, you can still shop for every single new build home on my YouTube channel because builders are always building new communities, taking these models and plugging them into those communities. So if you'd like a custom built list for you on where you can find this home or other homes like it in other communities like this one, or this one particularly, feel free to reach out. Happy to put together a custom list for you on where you can find this home or other ones like it. And yes, oh yes, while I have a ton of new build videos, I do resale homes as well. Lackluster closets, but hey, Guest bedroom. It's, the, it's what you get for being in the guest bedroom, I suppose. Okay, off to the main part of the home. Once again, that's the front door. So this is coming straight forward. And this is going to be coming in from the two car garage. We'll go in the basement a little bit later. Actually, you know what? Let's do the basement first. Let's switch it up a little bit, guys. Keep you on your toes. If you guys watch my YouTube channels or YouTube videos often, keep you guys, try to keep you entertained. All right, so you got bedroom and bath over here to the left, right when you come down from the stairs. And the main living area on your right, let's go into the living area first. By the way, guys, uh, an upgrade, something I really help my clients with when doing new builds is help them make smart design studio choices that will increase the quality of their life and help the end resale value without wasting thousands of dollars because builders, I love you builders, I love you so much, but they're a business and they wanna make as much money as possible. And so they have a lot of design studio upgrades that look great, but are actually pretty useless and 
you wind up overspending by thousands and you don't recoup that money when you sell all the time. Well, I shouldn't say that. Your chances are lower. Something I do with my clients is help them make smart design suited choices, use their money the best way they can to get the best quality of life out of their home and have the highest likelihood of increasing sales value down the road. I always like when there's a flex room in the basement. That's always very nice. And then unfinished area where utilities are. You could add some additional square footage here as well. Now let's go ahead and walk it real quick. Great for storage. Or well, if you want to do anything else down here, with finishing it, you have that option. I made a free ebook you can download the best and worst design studio choices. It's in the YouTube, it's in the description below. It's completely free. Help you make good choices when designing your new build home. This is a good set. This is, this closet is like three times the size of the guest bedrooms upstairs. So whoever the favorite kid is, they get this bedroom down here. All right, and then the bathroom. Hi, that's me. And then more storage. All right, upstairs we go. Very spacious down here. And it's nice to have sections. A lot of times these fully finished basements aren't really, really well sectioned off. I like they got clearly, obviously a living room space down here, the flex room across the rest of the basement from the guest bedroom and bath as well. I like that layout. Very practical, very useful. By the way, guys, chandeliers are paying for any of those fixtures at the design studio, I think is a waste of money, unless you love it, because those are gonna be, you're gonna have limited choices, and honestly, the fixtures are gonna be really marked up and really expensive. I recommend get paying for the wiring, so it's wired and ready to go, but not just getting whatever stock fixture is stock, um, or no uh, fixture or light if, if that's what stock, and then just shopping for your own fixture so that way you can choose your favorite one. You can shop anywhere you want and you'll likely pay a whole lot less too. Oh, Sarah's got me out of breath. Coat closet, and then half bath off the main living area. We'll go to the primary bedroom last. Something I'm surprised that they didn't do with this model is take the cabinets up to the ceiling, like the extra high cabinets. Um, that's a really good. I've seen a lot of, that's a really popular upgrade. Um, and I think it's worth the investment at the design studio is getting the cabinets all the way up. I'm surprised they didn't do that. Nice back splash, very pretty. Got a step in pantry. Coffee bar area.
appliances are another one. Sometimes builders will throw in appliances. Sometimes they, uh, if they're not and you got to pay for them at Design Studio, I recommend once again, just not just opting out of appliances and then once again, going and getting your own because once again, you'll have more options to choose from and um, you'll pay less as well as buying them from Best Buy or something like that. Every builder is unique in terms of that, in terms of they offer appliances or if it's included, what's not included. So I'm just saying if they, if they do not come included and you have to pay at that point, I recommend just going and getting your own. Primary bedroom. But definitely get a reservation for the appliance. You don't want to be a week away from closing and then go appliance shopping. And then it turns out the fridge you want isn't available for like six months. So like once you go into contract and you're planning on buying it, reserve uh, the appliances or once you're closer to closing of reserve them. So you'll actually have what you need once you close. Nice and wide uh, bathroom area makes it feel big. Guys, if you're digging this video, if you like it, hit like and subscribe, do your boy a solid. These videos do take a lot of work and I appreciate you watching them either way. If you don't like the video, then don't hit like and subscribe, that's okay. But if you don't like it, I don't know why you'd still be watching. I love this stepping area in here into the shower, big fan of these. All right, guys, that concludes the Daniel Richmond American Aurora Highlands. Check out my community tour of Aurora Highlands if you want to know more about this really cool community. Well, that was the Daniel by Richmond American, guys. If you dug the video, hit like and subscribe. And once again, I'd love for you to take advantage of the relationships I have built through doing as much work as I've done with new builds. But once again, I do retail as well. So whatever you need, I got your back. My contact information is below. Thank you for watching the video, guys. See you next time.